do not repair a target and hit a score has been verified by the competitor. Relief's gonna be a little off. Can you start by spelling your full first and last name? T H O M A S C A R P E N T E R. Fantastic. Corporal. Alright, uh, what's your unit? I'm with the 109th RSG HHC out of Rapid City, South Dakota. Fantastic. Okay, and uh, what's your MOS? I'm a 56 Mike, a religious affairs non commissioned officer. Marksmanship competitions are important because they are a way to increase combat readiness. And in large part, this is because many troops go through basic training, they go through AIT, and after that they only get to fire their weapons at qualifications. There is no additional experience, no additional training to be taken by the troops. And that does not, uh, that does not produce good shooters. We are in a profession where it is paramount that you are an excellent shooter. These competitions benefit soldiers because they get to go see the best that the U.S. military has to offer in an environment that puts a little bit of pressure on them. They get to learn techniques and they get to learn ways to improve their performance. It is absolutely excellent. There's no better way to get exposure to the shooting techniques and the equipment usage. My first time I came here, I'd never run an ACOG before. I was able to come here, learn how to run an ACOG and run it well, but that was only because I was sent here and got to run it for a week. You transfer back home by going with you. Because first, you take care of yourself, and that's the first thing you have to do and you want to improve anything. Second, you get to look at the deficiencies you've overcome and see them in other soldiers. So when you're at the range, you're in training, you're talking with your troops, you get to see what they're having trouble with, how you overcame it, and what the best of the best have to say on how to get rid of that problem. From there, you can build other good shooters. It's absolutely paramount we continue to host these events and offer these training opportunities because you're not going to gain these skills in a classroom. We are supposed to be ready at any moment to go and do our job, and our job includes marksmanship. If we don't learn these skills here while we have training opportunities and we don't offer these opportunities, one of the biggest parts of our profession, and sometimes the only part that will matter in that moment, will be lost. You cannot rebuild these skills in a classroom. You have to bring troops out to the range and put uh, lead down range. There's, there's no other way to do it.